Hey, my name's Vimper, and this is Ring Fit Adventure. And this is a B roll one uh, in 6030s category. Then we do the first world and next to pick. We had a few donation incentives for this. Name the character and the language. So you are. Ooh. Okay, I think I got <laughs> I think you're asking for the bid words. You're really like, cutting out a little bit on Discord. Sorry about that. But the language will be Japanese. Okay, and then name the character. Character name will be Jim Tonic. Capital G Y M, capital T O N I C. But underscore. You said language is Japanese? Yes, Japanese. Okay, awesome, awesome. That's actually faster. So, come <clears throat> So, Ring Fit Adventure is an exercise RPG. It's, uh, yeah, run fast, you do yoga, do aerobics, uh, leg exercises, arm exercises, etc. Do the, the old moves. I'm gonna go through the tutorial real quick, you know, it takes five seconds. And then actually get started. So this runs for the first uh, world. And next up will be intensity determines your uh, how many reps you can exercise. And for this run, we'll be using that max ability for the run. We need to do more reps, but yeah. We gotta get calibrated real quick, we'll have, have a cutscene, then we'll get started. Press in hard on the ring con. For intensity of 30, you'll do max calibration. Calibration affects uh, the exercises. How hard you have to push the ring, how hard you gotta pull the ring. Any exercise involves pulling and pushing the ring. This does affect it. Okay. And Ring Fit Adventure uses the ring con and a uh, leg con strap to uh, determine your. Uh, what you're doing for the game. Slightly. Very interesting. Straight. Slightly jog in place, staying aware of your surroundings. Right here, we're calibrating for running. Okay. Spread your feet slightly and stand up straight. Quickly jog in place. Okay. So throughout the run, you'll see me do ring presses. Every ring press gives us like 4 XP. So that's why we'll be doing the ring presses. And then you'll see me doing high knees. High knees also gives me XP as well. Alright. Alright. Let's go. We have to watch the cutscene, unfortunately. It's non skippable. I didn't actually start the run. Any donations or anything, feel free to use them now. Anything you need to read off? Uh, I'm just gonna plug this upcoming incentive we have for the next run, Magic Knight Prey Earth. Uh, that's still sitting at zero of fifty dollars, so get those donations in, I believe you have until the end of that run, so about another hour or two. So we, uh, this cutscene, I'm gonna explain it, it's fairly basic, but you're just walking through the forest, you find a talking, floating, uh, flies ring. Or is he trusted, so you decide to pick it up and mess with it, because why not? When a ring tells you to free them, you free them. Not something I personally do, but you know, I guess each of their own, I guess. And by freeing the ring, we uh, unleash the evil dragon.
and that's Sprago, the recurring boss you see in the game. He's like every boss in the game. Introduced to your ring here too. Oh, sorry if I surprised you. Ring is the other main character in the game, fortunately. He's a dragon. Or fortunately. It's a dangerous, dark influence. To think that he's still. Yeah, the time will start after the cutscenes. Having to name the character means that start before the cutscene, fortunately. Drago's dark influence has a horrible effect on anything it touches. And this is unskippable. If he were to release it in all its power, his influence could cover the whole world. I have to stop. We'll change the language to Japanese as well after this. Won't be enough. Wait, you're not from around here, are you? Right, right. Of course you're not. Ooh. Yes, it could work. I can see the potential. Could you try holding your right hand over me? Yeah, unskippable cutscenes are the worst. They really, really are. The only cutscene in the game, too, is unskippable. The only cutscene I would care about anymore. Ah! So they see me doing exercises throughout the game. When I do an exercise, you see my character model light up. You see your hair here will change yellow. And the body part I'm using also light up yellow. That means I'm doing an exercise correctly. There's an easy way to tell if I'm doing exercise correctly or not. It's kind of important for the game, so you gotta do proper form. If you're not doing proper form, then you won't get the most damage. You won't, uh... It won't count as much for you. Come on! Let's go after Drago! Huh? Is something wrong? Your hair went out. You're gonna work with me on this. Aren't you? Once we get to the cutscene, I'll count down this type of timer. It'll be shortly after. When your hair flares up. I'm counting on you. The B roll one intensity thirty. We had some new strats for this happen uh, about a few months ago. Before we just go straight through the courses here and go straight to the boss. Now we change some of the things up a little bit more. Do some grinding. We uh, change the skills around. A lot different, actually. There's a max difficulty, then language is Japanese. Okay. So, timer will start, let's say, count on five. Five, four, three, two, one, go. So this first level, we'll be doing ring presses and high knees here for the XP. The fairly basic level, pretty straightforward. You'll see me slowly doing ring presses there. Not slowly, but you know. So like I said, every ring press that we do is about 4 XP. We want to do as many as possible. They reward you for every exercise that you do, so that's why we're doing high knees. They also give us uh, XP. As we turn the uh, ring con here around, you can see it moving here too. The strap doesn't like to stay up occasionally. So you use the ring con to ring press, ring pull, do jumps here. The game's pretty blingy about high knees on stairs and whatnot. But otherwise, it can be kind of tough to make sure you're doing high knees. The game has issues picking it up occasionally. Yes. 
So the ring presses, they're rather brutal. But you want to try to do about 600 per, uh, per level here. And add in a level, give you a victory pose here to bank your XP. And at the end of the game, will tell you uh, to check your heart rate, all that jazz. You don't care about right now, but kind of cool feature. The gain of XP here. Now we're going to do this level one more time. You try to hit level 5. We hit level 5 here to unlock uh, another skill and ability to move our skills around. We can do the same thing again here. You saw on last time there we did about 640 ring presses. It was pretty good. That 640 ring press is a max calibration. Is very very brutal. The most brutal part of any run in Ring Fit is right here. But yeah, the game does use motion controls for you. Pick up what you're doing. It's pretty freaking cool. So these, uh, those puzzle piece things we picked up are XP medallions. That gives XP for each one that we pick up. First one gives you 25. The second gives you 50, and last gives you 300. I think it's 50, 100, and 300. Actually. Occasionally, I will go to ring pulse that presses. Just give my arms a break. Now yeah. so we're done with this level. Yeah, our level five. We need a menu in here, and then we'll move on to the next level here. This menu in let's change our fit skills, where we only have the yoga fit skill here, which is a chair pose. Chair pose is a lot faster than the other fit skills for intensity 30, because it's yoga, it's less reps. Less reps, more damage. So now we actually run normally here. Don't do high knees. You have combat here too. Level seven, less level. There's jumps now, but really nothing special. And here's our first combat encounter. So combat involves you doing fit skills, which are exercise skills, against the enemies here. But we only use that one yoga skill we have to share pose. There's a variety of fit skills. I mean, there's arm skills, ab skills, leg skills, yoga skills, aerobic skills. It's a very, very large variety. 
But the only one we're worried about here is Chair Pose, which is a yoga skill. Every fifth skill here has a tutorial where you have to do the correct form before you actually start it. You can see as I hit the enemy here, we get grades pop up. But mostly. It means we're doing max damage. If it's a good, it's not a max damage, it's uh, only like medium damage. Which doesn't matter too, too much, but it can slow you down if you get too many goods, of course. You see, we also have a health bar on the bomb right. We shouldn't die in this run, but it's there. After you attack, they have a chance to attack as well. It's pure RNG if they attack or not. If they do attack, we can guard against it. Blunt hits though for a damage boost. We can't guard in the ab guard here, which we push against our abs for the guard. him one more time another trip us. So with the yoga skills, there's a frame perfect move you can do on them. Where you finish him right before they go full yellow of your character's hair, then you'll get the full damage. A little bit quicker. Something we tried to do, but it kind of frame perfect. Doesn't always happen. We still want to keep on running still. Bring Hudson. So we have stairs up here. By using that stair jump, let's get the stairs a lot quicker. We use like momentum to get the jumps. You can keep your momentum going this, up the jumps, up the stairs, as long as you time your jumps correctly. So as soon as you land, you want to jump again. In theory, you can just keep on jumping all the way up. In actuality, if you get three jumps, be happy. We are doing intended categories, that means we're doing all the exercises correctly. Also, unintended, we don't do exercises correctly. I personally prefer intended. The game also keeps track of your, uh, how long you exercised, how many miles you ran, how many calories you burned. Very robust game, actually. The one thing we're seeing here, since we only have one fifth skill, and he gets a second turn, so our one fifth skill is on cooldown right now. Since each of your fifth skills, so you have a cooldown period where that you can't spam them constantly. It's to make you use different exercises to build your muscles, build your body, different spots. Versus doing the same one over and over again. That's why the enemy's getting two turns there. And that's level 2. All we have left now is the boss world. Boss world is usually a uh, more massive are taking the stage against the boss. The boss usually is a longish fight for sure. Claw Tinker. Usually hits you a lot harder too. 
Now we're done boss roll. We don't need any more ring presses. We're not worried about gaining more XP here. If we want to avoid XP, we can get it if we can. It's, every time you game level, it does slow you down, so. They saw there did four uh, stair jumps. Not bad. Now we run up the stairs here, totally reach that go. If you have any donations or incentives, you can feel free to read them here. Got nothing right now. Uh, still sitting at zero in that Magic Knight Raider incentive. But like I said, we got some time there. Uh, I'm kind of thinking this overnight crew, or maybe you're not overnight if you're in a different time zone, but uh, when the other folks get up, I want to surprise them with how much money we raise, so let's get some donations rolling. Let's go, guys. And this is Drago. See him, he's showing it off, he's working out. He's a buff dragon we all wish we could be. Kind of like Bowser's bigger brother, almost. Nah, we'll kind of duel him here. Again, we'll be using chair pose. But it takes four or five chair poses to kill him. And we'll be block guarding all of his attacks as well, while we do the chair poses. Some of yoga skills, you can't go too fast on them. If you go too fast, the game will just laugh at you. You have to do it again. You can go as slow as you want, but of course we want to go fast, so... Matter of trying to find the correct speed to go without going too fast. This game is really, really great about uh, accessibility. Like you'd be playing pretty much anybody to play it, pretty much. There are plenty of accessibility options for all body types, all body issues, all injuries. The game's really, really good about that. And we'll be full out guarding through all of his attacks here. Because he'll attack so, so often. And full out guard reduces his damage by quite a bit. It's pure RNG when the enemy attacks too. So if they may attack two times in a row, they might not attack at all. They might attack once, do nothing once. It really just depends. Hopefully in this run I'll burn about 100 calories maybe, so nothing too amazing, but nothing like that either, you know. In longer runs I'll burn anywhere between 1,000 to 2,500 calories for a full game run. One reason I do love speedrunning this, the workouts are insane. The workouts in the games are so, so good. See, right there, I was going too fast, so the game told me to back yourself up and do it again. Main reason I do want to make sure I don't go too, too fast on yoga. If you lose all your, all your heart pieces here, you will die, so... That's why we do one guard here. If you die, yeah, restart the level. Unless you're on the boss stage, you can just restart the boss itself. Even then, it still sucks quite a bit. See there, our stance wasn't perfect, so it made us redo our stance. It's key to make sure you do your stance correctly the first time. It allows you to be there a while. Some moves are more finicky about the game picking them up correctly, so it may not be a good idea to use those moves. Planks being the main move, also mountain climbers also kind of tedious to you. In this run we do only use one skill, but longer runs we do use multiple skills. For intensity 30, you focus on aerobic and yoga stuff. Intensity 1, you focus on more rep based stuff, power based exercises. In the long run, so you actually see more mechanics in the game too, from uh, 
the smoothie stuff, which are like potions, to the skill tree, the equipment. There's quite a lot in the game, actually. Because there's only a brief snapshot of the game. Can he attack us again, maybe? Hopefully not. I'd rather have him work out, but no, he's gonna attack. It's that kind of day today, it seems like. Another difference between the higher intensities and lower intensities, they add uh, faster reps and higher intensity as well. So for rep based exercises, you'll have uh, uh, normal reps and you have faster reps. They need to hit both types of muscles pretty much. Like the twitch based muscles and the uh, normal muscles. But man, this game offers so much. It offers like custom workouts you can do, offers a rhythm game mode. Also pretty cool. Offline mode too for it. It's fairly robust. And the game uses the Breath of Wild engine, that's why the game looks so pretty. It's extremely pretty. Please take a day off here, awesome. Do one more time, please, Jago. And so we should be set here. Nah. Not that lucky. We'll pull out our game just be safe. We could damage boost through a few of these attacks here, but it's probably not really worth it. Dragon like from Rocky? I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure where they got Drago from, besides him being a dragon. And there we go. Time will be on the victory pose after we finish the victory pose. That's coming up. We give XP. Unfortunately, we do game level here, which sucks. And here's the victory pose. So, three, two, one, time. And that's that. That's that. Be roll one, intensity 30 for Ring Fit Adventure. Very short run, but still very satisfying. Still a good workout. And I'll see our Harpy here real quick, too, just because. And see how much we uh, move today. 143, so decent today. Very, very decent. And my name's Benifer. Thank you guys for having me today. It's been fun. If you enjoyed it, please follow me on Twitch. And thank you, Midwest Speed Class, for having me, guys. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yes, make sure you follow that to her.